Hello and welcome to the AlphaCam 2018 R2 What's New videos. This short video highlights the improvements in the input CAD and SolidWorks CAD configuration files enhancements. Let's get started. You will see that now our input CAD window allows you to have persistent values. What this means is that every one of these options and every one of your decisions are going to be remembered, no matter if we turn off the computer or not meaning that every time you have to bring in a CAD file, you'll be able to forget about having to check these options every time. This translates into significant productivity gains. Likewise, we have the ability now to read configurations or a state of a known assembly in SOLIDWORKS. You'll be able to input what is known as the last visible configuration which is the last known uh, saved state that you had in the software, what we call the active configuration, or this is really the flexibility, you'll be able to choose between the different configurations that are available to you inside of your SOLIDWORKS assembly. Demo. So now I am in AlphaCam and I am going to literally drag and drop a SOLIDWORKS file into our AlphaCam system. So we spoke about this briefly. We will now have the ability to remember every one of these settings. I'm going to um, uncheck this just so that you can see that it will remember it on the next session. Now, when I say OK, because it's a SOLIDWORKS file and it's an assembly file, I have the option of selecting the different configuration states that we spoke of before. To prove how flexible this is, I'm going to select that configuration and I'm going to bring it in. You can see this is the only part inside of that configuration. And we're going to measure from that endpoint to that endpoint, and I get basically 321 millimeters. Now, I'm going to drag and drop again the identical file You'll notice that now it remembered my options, but I do want to clear the memory this time. And we will be inserting a completely different configuration. This one is going to be the bottom one. You can already see that the part is significantly longer, but if I measure the part, you'll see that the part is now 985 millimeters. So this is precisely what allows us to take full advantage of a third-party parametric CAD engine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next AlphaCam video.